Elsewhere, the Chinese version of Amazon is setting records. NASDAQ listed JD.com's summer sale was the biggest ever. And just like Amazon, JD.com sees drones as key to the future of delivery. Yunus Yun reports for us tonight from Beijing. I'm surrounded by toys, diapers, home appliances, pretty much everything that you would see in your home is at this JD delivery station. This is just one of JD's 6,900 delivery stations across the country. At this one alone, about 10,000 packages are being shipped out. And that's because yesterday, Sunday, was the culmination of a big summer sale for JD. June 18th is the Chinese retailer's own shopping holiday. China already has Singles Day, but JD marks its anniversary with steep discounts. The company announced that during the 18-day period, $17.6 billion worth of goods crossed its sites, up 50 percent from last year. JD founder Richard Liu says Chinese consumers are looking for quality. In the past three years, we spent a lot of resources to attract the women to buy on our platform. So now most uh, apparel, bags, watches, and jewelry, and uh, cosmetics, every category grows very fast. Also, more and more Chinese consumers buy the luxury brands and the high quality brands. Today, these goods are being delivered mainly by JD's 70,000 couriers. But in the future, the company hopes drones will be delivering too. Amazon is hot about drones, but its plans are being held back by red tape in the U.S. JD, though, already has 40 drones flying real routes, mainly in rural parts of China. Our target is different. Amazon tried to use the drone to deliver a parcel from the delivery station to the end users. But in China, you know, people live in the apartment. So we cannot use the same way to do like uh, Amazon in the U.S. Uh, but the village countryside is a huge market. Currently, JD's drones can carry up to 66 pounds or 30 kilograms of weight. And they're looking into a model that can one day carry one ton worth of products. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Yunus Yoon in Beijing.